How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Bosch laser measure with a green laser and it's very, very good, accurate to 1 16th of an inch. Let me explain a little bit about the model numbers. These are all GLM 165, meaning they can measure up to 165 feet. All their accuracy is really good, plus minus 1 16th of an inch or 0 0.0625. The 22 and 27C uses a red laser and the 25G, 27CG, 27CGL all uses the green laser. The 25G is much cheaper than the 27CG or 27CGL. That's because these guys have Bluetooth and a leveler. So if you want Bluetooth connectivity, you can't get that with the 25G. The difference between the 27CG and 27CGL is that the L stands for lithium ion, meaning it has a rechargeable battery. Let me unbox this and show you what's inside. Quick start guide, the manual. There's a metal belt clip. Secured in place and you have your belt clip. Also comes with this holster. Select your preferred measurement method. Let's do inches. Press and hold this button to turn it off. I have the pair of calipers at two inches and everything is as straight as I can hold it. And the Bosch is measuring roughly 0.05 more. It seems to be overestimating it. It's just a tiny, tiny bit, but this is actually really, really accurate. Around two inches is the minimum measurement distance. If you go any closer, it just zeroes out. I have the 25G, the cheaper one, and the 27CG. Both of them are regular batteries. When you get the 27CGL with the lithium ion battery in it, the product is only going to say 27CG. That's because they stored the battery inside here. So it can double up as a 27CG. You can still use alkaline batteries in it if you want and put in the lithium ion battery. And now you can charge it through this hole right here. Looking at the functions, it's largely the same except this laser leveler right here. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So you can place this somewhere and have a leveler or on the side like that. If I put it on this table, it's relatively flat, 0.7. So if I tilt it forward 25 degrees, all the way to 90 degrees here, there's just one more icon here, and that's the Bluetooth. If we go in here, we can turn that on and then go, okay, now Bluetooth is turned on. Many people use these and start measuring and notice that it's really off because it's measuring from a different reference point than they expect. You can measure either to the front of the device to the back of the device or to this little screw hole here if you're mounting on a tripod. I'll start off measuring from the front of the device. It's two inches. We'll change it to the tripod. You have to press the measure button and it'll turn on the laser. Now that's another 1.8 inches to that hole. And roughly using the ruler, it does look like around 1.8 inches. Now we'll measure to the rear of the device. Now it's 6.7 inches and the device does look 4.7 inches. I have it set up to measure to the back of the device. So you just put it against the wall here. So press the laser, press it again to stop. It's 50.32 inches. It's funny because I probably can't even measure it that accurately with this physical tape measure. I have to kind of bend it in like that. This is 50.25, but because this tape measure is bent right here, I just kind of have to guess. Let me show you guys the area function. Click OK, measure the length and width. So let's do the length right here. And width. So it measures to the other wall and it got a 76 square foot area. So it just does the multiplication for you within the device. Having Bluetooth allows you to save the data and use their software for floor planning. You also have the built-in leveler, which is convenient, and the rechargeable battery, which is also convenient, so you don't have to keep on replacing the alkaline batteries. It's super compact, accurate, and rugged. Any other laser measure will pale in comparison. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <music>